Hey y'all, how are you all today? I want to make sure, my, yes, my volume's working. All right, here we go. Hello, happy Thursday. My name is Laurie Ann Cox and I am a designer coach in Reef of the Month Club for Julie Samako's Southern Charm Reefs. I am so glad you're joining me today and uh, super excited. Julie is out of town and asked that I pop in and um, demonstrate a um, reef tutorial for her. And I said, absolutely, I would be more than happy to. <clears throat> hey, Robin. Hi, Pamela. Anyway, so today that's what we're going to do. I want to show you a simple way that you can put together a really pretty reef. Um, in Reef of the Month Club, my goal is to help members um, learn simple designs that they can purchase locally. We have a lot of fun in there, and that's something that I'm going to demonstrate here today. So I hope everybody's having a good day so far. I am in North Carolina and um, it is rather hot. It is definitely hot. It's about 80 degrees and uh, it's about time to pull out shorts as far as I'm concerned. But with the weather being so warm, I decided, hey, let's just play with some summer stuff. So it's always good to have every season um, in your repertoire. Um, if you are uh, making for others or selling online. So today we're gonna do a lemon reef. So let's get started. All right, so I have taken a 16 inch grapevine reef and I have this really pretty welcome lemon sign on it. I have attached the lemon reef here and here. See how it is? And I want to bring you down and show you my thought process really quickly. So here we go. Okay. So I have a lemon reef right here. Hey, Texas is in the house. Yes, I have been in here live a couple of times, but um, I'm glad to be back. So we're here we have a beautiful lemon reef. Uh, lemons are one of my favorite um, home decor um, themes, elements that uh, you do. I just love lemons. And real quickly, so this is going to be a quick, simple design. I have three picks, three lemon picks, okay, that I have purchased locally. And so what my plan is to put one right here, all right, I'm going to tuck one right here, okay, and then I'm going to put one right here, and I'm going to make a bow to go right here, very simple. Then the other thing we're going to do is go in and fill in with a little bit of greenery and um, some accent or filler flowers. So this is my thought process. For those of us that make it, sometimes what happens when we begin a process, it always comes out a little differently, but I did wanna show you what my thought process was to get started, all right? So while I've got you down here, I'm gonna make my bow. <clears throat> okay, so I have a lemon ribbon very pretty. It matches my sign. It has the black, white, the yellow, and the green in it. So that matches my sign. I have a green polka dot, one and a half inch, which is really pretty. I definitely want to accent some of the green in the actual sign. I have a yellow, a solid yellow, which I love. And then I just want to pull in a little bit more of that black. So I have a black and white polka dot. You can go with a check. You can go with a stripe. I just wanted to um, mimic what was in the green sign. So that's why I'm doing polka dot. Okay. 
So, let's get started. Let's see if I can pull you in a little closer. All right, so I'm going to start with my two and a half inch. And um, I am probably going to do a 10 inch tail. Okay, so I'm measuring out 10 inches and I'm going to pinch right here. You're either pinching or gathering. You can call it one or the other. Now, I want a six inch loop. And so if you are hand tying a bow and you're first starting out, it is very um, it helpful if you measure out your um, loops. So I'm measuring out 12 inches and I'm going to pick it up and I'm gathering it right behind where I had pinched previously. See that? Now, if you're using a bow maker, this is a six inch loop. Okay? So if you're on something like the Easy Bow Maker, you're going to want to measure out six inches. All right? So once we pinch, we're going to twist towards us and we're going to pull it back down. I'm going to measure out 12 more inches and I am going to pinch. And twist and I'm going to cut it just like that so that's what we have so far I'm holding it with my finger all right the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm gonna pull some of this green in I'm going to measure out 10 inches and I'm just going to put that ribbon tail right beside or behind either way you want to do it okay um my top my two and a half inch i'm going to measure out 12 inches i'm going to bring it up and i'm going to pinch or gather whichever way you want to talk about it i'm going to bring it back down and do it one more time Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and I'm going to bring this ribbon tail across. And I'm going to pull my ribbon tails. I'm going to get them adjusted somewhat where I want them. See that? All right, I'm going to pull in the yellow. I'm going to do the same exact thing, except this time, instead of 12 inches, I'm going to measure out 10 inches because I want my loops for my yellow to be a little smaller. So I'm measuring out 10 inches right here. Then the loops behind it. I'm pinching and twisting 10 inches, bring it down. And I'm pinching and twisting. Now, at this point, where I'm holding it, it's backing up into my fingers. Okay? It's backing up into my fingers. So I'm not pinching with just one finger. It's kind of going in. It's going in between this right here. All right? I'm holding it loosely I'm not clamping down on it tightly all right we're gonna cut this and last but not least well I must have used that or had extra so we're just gonna go in I'm gonna do eight inches right here I'm gonna stick that down in there I'm gonna do a 10 inch loop let's see if this extra holds and it does and there we go that's what we have okay I'm going to take my wire florist wire I'm going to turn my hand over and I'm going to pick up my index finger and I'm going to put this wire right underneath that finger I'm going to pull my wire 
around my loops just like that and I have got them in between these two fingers right here okay now I'm going to position the loops a little bit more the way I want them I have not twisted it yet but I'm going to get them a little bit more the way I'd like them I'm going to turn it over I am pulling this wire away from me at the same time I'm pulling the bow towards me okay and I'm going to pull tightly and then I'm going to turn and I am twisting the bow not the wire we don't want the wire to break on us and sometimes if you have a um, a thin wire on it and you twist it enough times it will break so that's why you always twist the bow instead of the wire there we go very pretty very light and festive now I'm gonna move this around even more when I get it on the bow <clears throat> let me pull you up I mean when I get it on the uh, reef there we go okay now everybody doing good yes all right let's pull you in a little closer this is a very simple way to make a reef that you can enjoy and you don't have to spend much time with okay so let's remember what I'm gonna do okay so I'm gonna have two picks one right here and one right here and I'm gonna have a pick right here when I say pick or spray I'm talking about this right here all right so I'm gonna want my bow about right here almost center so let me get it in here not put a hanger on the back yet and that's why it wants to jump off but we'll fix that I love working on my board and the reason why I do is it helps me to know what my wreath is going to look like on a door it's hard for me to see how things look when I have an easel that is kind of open. So I love my board. All right, let's get our ribbons adjusted where we want them. And I don't know about you guys, I don't know about y'all, but I could play with ribbon all day, all day. A little bit there we go now I'm gonna cut my ribbon tails eventually I'm just gonna hold off I'm not gonna cut them at the moment okay it's better to in my opinion cut when you're finished than when you're designing because you want to make sure you've got everything right and in place. Okay, there we go. Everybody doing good? Any questions? All right, perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our um, sprays in, okay? So the first one, like I said, I want to go right here and get this tag off. And I want to prep this first. Okay. So when it comes, a lot of times it comes in a bag 
or it um, has come in flat. Hi Maureen. And we want to spread it out, okay? So we are going to give this a little bit of life. And what you want to do is you basically just want to touch each element in it. And it comes to life, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I am going to measure before I cut where I want it to go. So this looks good for so far. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to put my finger right where it, but where it comes together where the grapevine is. So this is my measurement. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut maybe an inch and I'm going to cut it off. I have not moved my finger. Okay. I'm going to put a still pick on this and the reason why is because this is a pretty thick stem. All right. So I still got my measurement. I still got where I'm going. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on it and I'm going to go right up underneath the bow. And I'm going to bend my elements just a little bit this way. I want to make sure that my lemon shines brightly because it is the center of attention. Okay. So there we go. That's our first one. I'm going to repeat that process again. <clears throat> I am going to fluff. I'm going to fluff this one. So we really need to make sure that we touch and we manipulate or have our sprays and our greenery and our picks come to life. That way they don't look like they've been in a, a storage place or a flat container somewhere, right? <laughs> All right, so the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to pull you back in, okay, is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to measure again before I cut where I want my spray to go. And that looks good. So what I'm doing again is I'm putting my finger right where I want it to be inserted into the grapevine. All right, so I've got it right here. I'm going to cut about an inch and I'm going to put a still pick on it. And I'm going to go right up where I wanted to go. And there we go. I have the second one. I don't know. There's a piece of string on here. Okay. I will play with these loops forever. So it's just one of my things that I do. Okay. So we have our first two sprays in. They look really good. I've got them very well proportioned to um, the line that I want my grape, uh, my uh, reef to have. All right. Now I'm going to go up top and I'm going to put one more. And in a matter of 15 minutes, I already have most of my design, um, most of my reef filled in very easy recipe to do. You know, in Reef of the Month Club, we teach recipes. And this is a very simple recipe. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> Someone's asking, how did I make uh, the large lemon welcome reef? 
I did not make this personally. I purchased this. Um, I can't remember where I purchased it from. I think it was locally, but I'm not sure. But listen, honey, you can find it at Deco Exchange, The Reef Shop. Uh, you can find it on Etsy. This is a very popular um, uh, lemon welcome reef. Very popular. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to measure again where I want it, want my spray to go. And this is where I want it to go. So once again, I'm going to take my finger. This is where it came right up. You're welcome, Leslie. You're welcome, honey. This is where it came to the grapevine. So I've measured how long I need it to be. Once again, I'm going to cut it at about an inch down. I'm going to, a uh, craft outlet's a good one too. Yes, Wanda. Uh, I'm going to put another steel pick on it. You can use floral picks, but this is what the steel pick looks like. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. And I'm going to come right here behind my bow. Just like this right here. Just like that. There we go. What do you think? Pull you in a little bit closer if I can. Can everybody see that? Yes, it looks like you can see pretty well. Okay. Okay, so I basically have my foundation I can come in at this time and move some of these tails again. I'm going to dovetail this. Like I said, I don't like to cut until after I have my elements in, just in case. It's just my way of making sure I've measured everything correctly. One more. I love this Swiss, this green Swiss dot. Mm. The one and a half inch, it is so sweet and pretty. It's very pretty. All right. How's that? Now, the next thing we need to do, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in with some greenery and we're going to fill in some with some filler flower. So let me get this cleaned up real quick. Get my ribbons out of the way. How's the weather with where you are today? Um, for those of you who are in the cold and the snow and the winter, I feel for you. I am hoping that spring comes very quickly for you all. Um, I myself am not a cold weather girl. Um, spring and summer and a lot of fall are my favorites. I am here in North Carolina, like I said, and we, um, I just like it warmer for sure. But anyway, all right, here we go. Let's get this cleaned up real quick. All right, so what I want to show you real quick or mention to you real quick is now I have a line established around my reef. It is an invisible line and it helps me 
stay within that line. In other words, it helps me not come way out here and not get really close. This is my invisible line that I want to make sure I stay in. And I've also built the foundation of my wreath. Okay, so I've got my foundation. Now, the next thing I want to do is, like I said, bring in some greenery. So, where is it? This greenery right here matches the greenery, some of the greenery that is already in my sprays. So I'm going to throw a little bit of this in. Um, this gives you so much texture, okay? And one of the things that Julie teaches is to try and add three different greeneries. And this right here gives you a lot of texture from one of the greeneries. The other thing this does is it is more of a linear greenery. It helps with lines. You know, when people um, view our reefs, well, let me say this. It has been said that the laziest part of our body is our eyes. I mean, really, our eyes don't work to see anything. We just see what's in front of us. So when you're designing your reef, you have to help the viewer or the person that is looking at your reef, you have to help them know where their eye needs to go to look at your reef. And linear helps define that, okay? So I've got a couple of these I'm gonna throw in real quick. So let's get started. It is the same green color <clears throat> as what's already in the spray greenery. So I have matched that. I would not want to come in here and bring like a blue green in here. This is like a um, yellow green. Okay, well, let me get a pick on this. See how it's adding line? Doesn't take much. Doesn't take much at all. Not when you have already put your sprays in. Now, what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to put it right here. What I've done to one side, I'm going to do to the other. And I'm going to bring this and put this right here. Now I'm building my foundation up. I've already got my foundation in, but now I'm building it up, okay? <clears throat> now we have that. The next greenery, let's see if I have a little bit more of that. No, I don't. Now, the next thing I can do is I can come in and soften things up just a little bit. And ferns, this fern right here, will definitely, sh it's um, wider, okay, I'll show you. It's wider, so it's going to give me more coverage, okay, but it also gives a softer uh, feel or appeal to it. This is a little bold and I want to soften it up a little bit. So I am going to cut some of this up real quick. Yep. 
this uh, fern, you can't really pull it. It has very thin wires in it. So it's better to cut it. Here, let me show you. So I have this right here. So I'm going to cut this right here off. And I'm going to cut these two smaller ones off. Okay, there's one. This right here is another pretty one. Now, when you have one like this, when you have one like that right there, just cut these two bottom ones off. It's okay. See how thin my wire is, though? See how thin that is? So I know I'm going to need a pick on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it up just like that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put a pick on it. Now I can use it. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in. So I've got four. So let's see where we want to start. Okay. Let's pull you in a little bit. I'm just playing right now. I want to see where I want it to go. So see how that looks like it is naturally supposed to be there? A lot of times when we're designing, we need to go with our gut. It naturally looks like it wants to be there. So this is where I'm going to put it. I'm coming in between these two pieces of greenery, and I'm filling in this hole right here. And it just gives her gives it a softer feel. Okay. Let's see if I've missed anybody's questions. If anybody has any, I don't see any. All right, let's keep going. All right. Now, like I said, what we do to one side, we're going to do to the other side. So I'm going to bring this one up, and I'm going to put this one right in there. Doesn't have to be a big one. Just to fill this right here in. Now, let me say this. The other thing is, is when I am putting the fern in, I am not going straight into the wreath. The way I'm putting it in is to the sideway, sideways, and I want to go with the grain of the grapevine. Okay? Pull you a little closer. I want to go with the grain of the grapevine okay so I've got one right here one right here I think I need to come in and put one right here okay I have a hole I have a hole these two pieces of greenery were put in I need to come fill this area in so that's where I'm going to go next let me cut this down a little bit more Now, when I place things in my grapevine or in my wreaths, I need to think about where I want it to end up at, okay? And so I want most of the green to end up here. So I'm not going to put it in right here. I'm going to put this still pick up towards the bow, okay?
There we go. See how it filled in this spot right here? All right, I need something right here. If you can see, you see what I'm talking about? This right here is kind of empty. So I need a piece of um, fern right there. And it's probably gonna be the little piece <clears throat> that I put a pick on. We're gonna go right in here and fill in this area just a hair. Y'all know what a hair is. A hair is just a little bit. That's what a hair is. <laughs> oh me. Okay, got that right there. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Ellen. Thank you so much. Okay, um, I've got that right there. And I need to work on this part right here and a little bit up here. And we will be finished with the fern portion. Let's see if I can get some more off of this one. I'm going to put some right here. Right down in there. Now, I had a hole right here. Y'all excuse me for just a second. All right. I had a hole right here. And I had a hole right here, so I filled it in. I need a little bit right here and a little bit right here and we will be finished. You see what I'm doing? I hope you can see. If you can't, let me know and I'll move in a little bit more. If I can, if my camera will let me do it. I love when elements kind of drape over your sign. You are incorporating the sign into your reef. That's what that means. So I'm trying to get this sign to appear to be part of the whole design. And by doing this right here, it helps pull this sign in towards the design. Okay, just a little bit more. Now, I want to put something right here. I want to soften this area up just a little bit. <clears throat> this is going to need a still pick. Sorry, the glue strings are going crazy. Okay, so I have, let me, the girls in the uh, Reef of the Month Club love when I do this for them. I know I can zoom in a little bit, but let me get you a little closer. See what I have so far? Okay, so... You can stop here if you want to. You can come in, you can put a little bit of ribbon tail in and you, it would be a gorgeous sign. But we're gonna take it up just a little bit further. Hang on one second, I saw a um, question. Uh, let's see. Um, someone's asking, I've noticed that in some reefs, 
the filler greenery is inserted in the grapevine first. Then other lives I've seen filler greenery inserted around the design. Is there a preferred method? And that is from Ru, is it Ruby? Yes, Ruby. Thank you so much for your question. And no, there is not a preferred method um, there's not a how-to or a correct way of doing anything. Um, it depends on the designer. Um, it depends on the elements that you're using. Sometimes, for example, when I use a very large... Um, let me show you. Sometimes when I'm using a very large um, floral heads... This is four, maybe four to five. I might want to get those elements in my design first because they're so large and then put my greenery, greenery around it. Um, other times you might want to put your greenery filler in first, like we basically have done here, to help get your foundation built up. But there is no right or wrong way um, I myself do it both ways. So it's really whatever you prefer, Ruby, if you'd like to start off with your greenery first and then go with your focal flowers, have at it. If you'd like to put your focal flowers in first and then your greenery, you can do that also. I hope that helps answer the question. Okay, um, like I said, you can stop here. But I want to put a little bit of white in this. Um, and you'll hear um, me talk in Reef of the Month Club about color. In fact, this first quarter, Julie and I are definitely um, teaching members all about color, the different color schemes, which are in color theory, and we are having a ball. But a lot of times what you have to do is you have to break up your color with a little bit of a neutral. And most of the time neutrals are whites or creams or um, tans, really, really just neutral colors. So there's a lot of yellow in here. And my uh, two and a half inch ribbon a lemon ribbon has white in it, and I want to incorporate a little bit of white throughout this reef. I want that color to go all the way through the reef. So I'm going to put a little bit of filler flower in it, which is white. Now, there are two different options I have that I have pulled. I can do this, which is so sweet and pretty, and I love it. I can do this, all right, let me show you. Pull it in a little bit for you. I can do that right there. Or I can come in with some baby hydrangeas, which are also very pretty. So there's more of these than there are these. And I think I'm going to go with the little baby hydrangeas. I think these will distract from my ribbon because it has several colors in it. So I am going to hold off on this and we're going to put a little bit of this in. <clears throat> You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. All right, let me get my glasses on real quick and we will be on our way. Now, I'm gonna give you a little tip. Never cut too small. The rule of thumb is measure twice, cut once. So you always wanna make sure that you cut longer than you need. That way, it's easier to cut down than it is to add. If you cut it too short, you can always fix it. There are definitely tips and ways to fix it. But just rule of thumb, you always want to cut longer first, then shorter. Okay. 
and I might want to keep this. No, I'm going to separate it. Let me get this little price tag off. All right, real quick, I wanna put some white right in here. I'm just placing, I'm not gluing yet. I'm gonna show you how you distribute your color, uh, the white. Okay, what you do to one side, you can do to the other. It helps with balance, so I'm gonna put it right here. I'm not gluing it in, I'm just placing it. I'm gonna put some right here right behind this bow. Just get it to where it stands up. I'm going to put some right here. And where else? I need some white right here. Well, I'm going to put some white right here. And then I have one more I'll figure out. But let me pull you in so you can see what I'm talking about. See how I've distributed the white in the reef? It goes all the way around the reef. And that's what I want to do. I want to distribute my white around. All right, I'm going to glue these. got to make sure your ribbons aren't hiding that they're showing. I'm going to put some right here. What it also does is by doing this, it pulls the white out of the sign and it helps it coordinate together. Get it in there to where it'll stand up. Okay, let me come over here. I think I'm going to put a little bit right here. Okay. And I need a little bit right here. Just a little bit. This one really needs to still pick on it. I think I saw a question a minute ago. Somebody wanted to know where I got my still pick machine from. I got it from Hobby Lobby many, many years ago. All right. Can y'all see that? See how I've incorporated the white into the design? And basically, girls and guys, we are done. Let me get this right. 
we are done. Now, what I could do is I can come in here and put a couple of ribbon streamers. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I can put a couple of ribbon streamers in here. And all you do is, sorry, I have poked my finger and I want to make sure that I don't get any of, any red on it. But I can come in here and put some ribbon streamers right here, which I love. All right, so the way you can do it, you can also do this with a floral pick. You know, the long wooden picks that have the wire on it. All you do is gather it up, just like that right there. I'm going to put this in my still pick machine. Now, when you put your ribbon tails in, you want to make sure that you are in line with your bow. Okay, if I had ribbon tails over here, naturally somebody might say how did that ribbon get way over there so you want to make sure that your ribbon tails incorporate where your bow would be and naturally if they came behind where they would come out at okay so my line is basically right here and this is where I'm going to put it. Okay, there's one. Um, I don't like to put two ribbons in at the same time because I can't place them exactly where they want to go. I've tried that before. And I don't know if I want the colored bow or whether I want some more yellow. Let's see what yellow looks like. Could put some yellow right there. I think I am going to do yellow and green. Well, I'm going to do yellow for sure. I might come back in and put some green in. Tell my ends. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is I have a short piece left. And I'm going to come in here and I can put it right here. Or I could put it right here. And I think I'm going to put it right here. dovetail this real quick. I'm going to put it right there. And there we go. There we go. I think we're done. Let me pull you in a little closer. I think we're done. See it close up? Let me back up. Working with this camera sometimes can be um, challenging. <laughs> Let me make sure my welcome's right. Okay. And I could come back in and you can put a ribbon tail right here. You can fill in with some ribbon if you want. But yes, girls, I think we're finished. Um, real easy. Very simple to do. Um, I added a sign. I took three little sprays of lemons. I put one on top, two on the bottom, put my bow in the center, and added greenery and some filler flower. Now that is what you call a recipe. Just like you make a chocolate cake, just like you make a vanilla cake, that is a recipe. Three sprays, a bow, a sign, and some greenery.
or filler flower. And that's what I learn, I teach um, as a design coach in Reef of the Month Club um, for Julie and the members. So uh, I want to thank uh, Julie for asking me to pop in today uh, as she is out of town. Let's just see if we have any questions. <clears throat> thank you so much, Becky. Thank you, girls, so much. Oh, I don't regret um, buying my still pick machine either, Wanda. One of the best investments um, I could have made. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. All right, girls, well, listen, again, thank you, uh, thank you, Amy, thank you. Again, it's been a pleasure being in here with you all today on the Southern Charm Wreath page. I wanna thank Julie uh, for asking me to join you all today. I hope I've been able to teach you or show you a little something um, possibly that you didn't know or refresh your memory on something that you might have learned but needed to um, recall, so to speak. All right, girls and guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Have a great, great weekend. Please be blessed and be somebody's blessing. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.